Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I opened a brand new set that I bought at Costco in order to celebrate a big accomplishment on my channel. Recently we hit 100 subscribers and I also managed to upload 100 videos. So I decided to celebrate this by buying a $100 set from Costco which is basically two sets in one. The first set was a Groot set, which is the one you're seeing me build right now, and the second set was the Iron Man Hall of Armor. I prefer the Hall of Armor because of all the minifigures, but building-wise, the Groot set was better. Both of these sets combined online, if you do the math, comes up to around $200. So if you see this in any nearby store, for $100, I suggest you buy it immediately before like it gets taken down or something. Because I couldn't even find it on the official LEGO website for some reason. So I had to pick it up the second I saw it. Now for the rating. The Groot set actually took me a lot more time than Iron Man set. And the main reason for this was because the Groot set did have more LEGO pieces. But these pieces were super specific and it was really hard to build. The um, main body of Groot was probably the easiest part while the head was the hardest part. Pieces would go in the wrong areas and I would have to start all over. Thankfully the time lapse made it seem like as if nothing really happened. I did keep on losing pieces though. It was very annoying having to keep on going to the floor to pick up the Lego pieces that would constantly just pop off the, the body. But nonetheless, I managed to finish it without any major complications. It only took me like two hours to build this, while well, it took me an hour to build the other one. Very good value. He's actually pretty tall, I think around one foot. Plus it comes with a little cassette thing and the stand of his name. Pretty, pretty funny. And I really like this set overall. Anyways, I'm gonna give my thoughts on the Iron Man set once that comes around. This is my thoughts on this set for now though. Alright, now that was the Groot set, and here's how it looks like all together. Pretty cool, pretty funny. I like how he's poseable with his fingers being all manageable, and his eyes too in his head, and how he can walk around. This is going to be fun for future animations if I do get around to it. Now, here is the Hall of Armor, I believe it's called. I don't know if I've been calling it wrong this whole time. I don't know. But anyways, this was a pretty pretty good set considering the fact that it came with eight minifigures and a cool car that the car alone makes it just super worth it in my opinion but eight minifigures four iron mans that's that's a lot but in the end at the end of the day you know it's like a hundred dollar set but i got it for technically speaking 50 bucks because 100 plus 50 plus 50 comes up to 100 yeah math anyways my thoughts on this set is that it's very very small but it also has like a lot of specific pieces that are super unnecessary i feel like that some of the pieces could have been spared and like some things didn't even need to be built but in the end of the day it's just what lego thought was best for the whole set and i can't really complain about that now i have more pieces to build with i guess anyways that's it for now well not for now i guess until the next video but thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video